Well, it's such a wonderful part of the game, the volley, and it was obviously a major strength in your game. Why is it such a rarity in the modern game, Boris? It's because um, racket technology, again, players don't have to come to the net to finish a point. They have you know, so much help with their racket, and they're also you know, physically very strong, example Nadal, that they're sometimes two or three feet behind the baseline, and they can accelerate with so much power, and they win the point anyway. When I grew up, you have to prepare the ball, you have to put a good passing shot, and then you have to follow towards the net to finish the point at the open court. Well, and that's, that's, that's the way we were all raised, and especially Wimbledon, where the bounce is so low and there weren't, weren't any long rallies possible anyway. You want to shorten the rallies, you want to shorten the points and come forward. And on the other hand, if somebody on his serve would stand back, it would... If I would approach him at the, at the return, it would give a lot of pressure immediately for him to have to pass me. And so is it a shot you think that's creeping back into the game? Are we seeing more of the modern players up at the net these days? I hope so. I hope especially the grass of Wimbledon players realise that it's just so much easier to play when you learn to volley, when you shorten the points. I mean, grass is such a beautiful surface, but with very clear rules, meaning if you hit a low on cross court, the ball is not going to come back. And at the net, it's so much easier to do. OK, enough talking. They want to see you in action, so why don't you give us a few tips on the volley? OK, we're starting with the forehand again here. The key is to hit the ball early in front of your body. Not like this one, but like that one. Let me. And here, your, your whole center of gravity, your body, is, is lower than on the baseline, so it's going to feel it more on your thighs. But that's the key. That's where you get the best positioning and then the best ankle. Again, you see my footwork. It's always forward with the left leg if you have a little bit of time. But the key is your center has to be below. What about the wrist in terms of, uh, do you lay the wrist back when you volley? Or I, I, you... I try to keep a firm wrist, meaning if the ball hits my racket, I, wanna, I don't want to you know, wobble, I want to keep it strong and keep the racket face open. So you can slice it a little bit and it gives it more security on the shot. So just explain to everyone what open means. More open means with the racket face closed, yep. that's what you use on a top spin. With the record face open, you can slice it. OK, and what about, uh, Matt, why don't you give uh, Boris some lower balls? Because uh, on the grass at Wimbledon, we saw you out there with some e lower balls. Even more so, you have to open the record face. You have to open it, you have to slice it, otherwise... I'll give you an example when the record face is closed. I would go, I would go down. I couldn't lift the ball up because it, the record wouldn't allow it to me. Here, I would slice it, I keep the record face open, and I can go on either side. To volley. The key again here is the footwork, the positioning, the base that you set up perfectly, and then volley is a beautiful shot. Okay, Philip from Vancouver in Canada's email to ask, what are the things you need to pay attention to hit a high, solid forehand volley? Because that's actually one of the most difficult shots in the game, isn't it? I've missed many of those. <laughs> um, I'm sure you haven't, but it is a tricky shot, isn't it? And there's not many people who can do it. Like, it looks easy, yeah, it but looks it's not. It looks easy, and it's very tempting, because you, you're coming with a bit of speed towards the net. Usually you would hit it here, and once it's high, you're so excited to get the high ball, you're going to hit it long, because yeah. you overhit. Okay. Again, the, the reason you're out there is to win the point, and you got to go for security. You know, you got to put the ball down. You got to got to force yourself to to be disciplined on it, and then just to slice it again with an open racket face, and 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 don't go for the fancy, fancy hard one. Just go and play solid. What, let's have a look at the backhand volley as well, because uh, have you got the same grip? I have, One grip for uh, well, I have similar grip. I don't change much with the back end and the forehand grip. But you change a little bit. Well, just a little bit, again, because I want to keep it open. Okay, let's have a look at Boris's uh, backhand volley then. Here, I can use the slice even more. Because the backhand, usually the arm is a little weaker. You know, you have your other hand holding the racket as well. So you need a bit more slice for security. But again, the positioning of the leg is the key. It's very difficult to, to volley like that. You know, when you stay open and you're not going to move your legs, you cannot get to the ball. Therefore, you have to make sure that your right leg is in front nicely and you slice the ball over and then finish the shot. So it's more like a chopping action. It's like more a like, like you, you're cutting.